good body positioning and using explosive energy so that I can drive in and hit that opponent really hard. Because if I don't counter that opponent with a lot of severity and a lot of aggression, they're sort of still in the fight, right? They're still feeling strong, they're still doing good. But even after I've done that, Hello GMAU family, Christopher Connolly here, GMAU Krav Maga instructor, one of three awesome instructors. <laughs> Anyways, this is my wonderful wife, Carrie. Today she's going to help me with one of the principles that I want to talk to you guys about today called gaining control through our countering, or a little bit more of a simplistic way to remember it is counter first before you try to gain control. Okay, so we're gonna use cover and advance as an example, um, but I mean, realistically, we can do a lot of different techniques to demonstrate this. Uh, today, we'll use cover and advance. So, just a slow version of cover and advance. Here we go, she comes with a hit. I cover and advance, and I clinch up, okay? Now, before I try to take her down, because if she starts to re resist, and go ahead and resist, Go ahead and resist. Yeah, pull, pull away. Yeah. Okay. Now, the reality is, if she's in a clinch, if I have her in a clinch position right here, and I just want to bring her down, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen on a resisting, dynamic, real person. That might happen with Bob, because he always does what I wanted to do, because he's Bob. He's great. But it's not going to happen in real life. So we need to talk about the idea of countering before we gain control. So what I want to do here is using cover and advance as an example, I want to really break down cover and advance. And I'm going to show you what the first counter is. And some of you may know this already. And some of you may not know this just yet. But we're going to talk about that first counter. So if she comes with that haymaker nice and slow, my first counter is actually going to be my elbows driving into her. That is actually my first counter move. What I mean by counter is a strike. These are actually a strike. So how do I get that strike? And you can just stand right there. That's fine. You don't have to do anything. I get that strike by practicing good body positioning and using explosive energy so that I can drive in and hit that opponent really hard. Because if I don't counter that opponent with a lot of severity and a lot of aggression, they're sort of still in the fight, right? They're still feeling strong. They're still doing good. But even after I've done that, and now we're into a clinch position here, I still shouldn't expect to be able to break that person's posture without giving them some incentive, right? And I'm sure you can sort of tell from this position, the way I need to give them that incentive is I need to break their posture with a downstairs combative. Now, once I've done that, and I like to do that in threes, that's sort of my magical number, one, two, three. Now that person should be buckled down, weakened, and ready for me to be able to take control and do what I need to do. So that's the most important principle to remember. The reason why I wanted to bring that up today is a lot of the tests that I get, I have people demonstrating to me their side clinch, but then they always pull the person down. And I don't want anybody sort of having this false sense that they can just clinch somebody and automatically pull them down. Because even if I clinch my opponent with an undercling, so I've got a bit of pain compliance here. If I'm dealing with somebody who's very, very strong, and my wife is very strong, I'm not lying. If I'm dealing with somebody who's strong and resisting, doing this is still going to be very tough. Because even if they can't fully just resist and lift up, they're going to move around. She might, you know, this person might start running around, they're going to move, they're going to get dynamic. Now, the only thing we have to stop them from getting really dynamic is our counters, right? So that's our quick tip tutorial for the day. Whenever you do your defense and you go into that clinch before you take control, counter, counter, counter. And if you're dealing with somebody who's padded up and you're really training hard and you're really making it realistic and your partner isn't going down, the rule is keep countering. It's your combative strikes that are the most effective defense that you have in Krav Maga in defending yourself. So I hope this tutorial really helps you guys. 
Work on that. Get your counters before you gain your control. All right. Train hard. Be safe. God bless.